What's up, readers? Today we're learning the letter O. And I have my friend with me, Oliver the Octopus. Now, the letter O is a vowel. And vowels are special letters because they can make more than one sound. The letter O has three sounds. The first sound is O, oh, O, oh, O. Oh. The next sound is O, oh, O, oh, O. Oh. And the final sound is ooh, ooh, ooh. Notice how your mouth is formed different for each different sound. We are going to start with our poem and then we will look at the letter and see how to make the different sounds and to form the letter. O is for octopus who lives in the sea. O is for owl high in a tree. O is for overalls and oars for a boat. O is for ostrich, orange and oat. Hooray for O, big and small, the most outstanding letter of all. This is the letter O. Capital O is a larger circle and lowercase o is smaller. To pronounce the aw ah sound like octopus, you hold your mouth in a circle with your tongue on the bottom, like this, and then you use your voice to say ah, ah, and you're pushing that sound up from the back of your mouth. You can feel it when you touch your throat. Ah, 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 octopus, fox, clock, stop. You hear the ah? Do you feel it? To pronounce the oo, 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 or b, u, u, sound of o, you need to put your mouth in a closed position with just a little o open. Oo, 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 and you push your voice forward and out. Oo, 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 your tongue stays in the middle of your mouth. Oo, oo, oo. The motion for oo is this. The motion for ah is this. And for the O sound, you make an O with your, with your hand. O is just when you have your mouth slightly open. O, and you push with your voice. O. I have a challenge for you. Each time you hear the sound oo, make the oo eyes. The zoo. My school took a trip to the zoo. My friends from another school came too. We gave the elephants food. We gave the birds food and pet the giraffes. They were so smooth. The zoo put me in a great mood. I hope my school can go back soon. First question, who took a trip to the zoo? Second question, how did the author feel after going to the zoo? To sign the letter O, you will take your fingers and curve them along with your thumbs so that they meet together forming a circle. O. Oh, this is how you sign O. Oh. O. Oh, just like an O. Oh. Let's write the letter O. Oh. To make a capital O, oh, you start at the top and make a large circle. Just like this so that they go back around and connect. Now for a lowercase o, oh, you follow the same process but make it much smaller. So you can tell it's a lowercase. Start at the top, go around and make your circle connect. That's how you write the letter O. Ah, O, ooh, the sounds of O. Before we read all of the octopus's day of juggling, we're going to talk about sequence. Sequence is the way that things happen 
in order. So it is the order of events. And we are going to hear about Olive's day in order, step by step. So I want you to make a chart like this. So while I'm reading, you can record each thing that you notice Olive do during the day. If you need to add more numbers because you notice more things, that's awesome. Just make sure that you are recording the events in order, step by step, the way that they happen. That is what sequence means. Olive the Octopus's Day of Juggling by Lisa Charlesworth, illustrated by Matt Phillips. Olive is an octopus. She lives in the ocean. Olive dreams of becoming a juggler. She practices around the clock. At one o'clock, Olive juggles an onion. At two o'clock, Olive juggles an onion and an old pair of overalls. At three o'clock, Olive adds an owl in an oak tree. Wow. At four o'clock, Olive adds an orangutan. At five o'clock, Olive adds an orange alien from outer space. See the clock? The shorthand points to the hour, it's pointing to five. And o'clock is when the minute hand, the long hand, is pointing at the 12. At six o'clock, Olive adds an entire orchestra. At seven o'clock, Olive gets oh so sleepy and oops, down come the onion and the old pair of overalls and the owl in the oak tree and the orangutan and the orange alien from outer space and even the entire orchestra right on Olive's head. Ouch! Now Olive dreams of becoming an organist. She practices around the clock. Oh well.